Today we're gonna take a look at a little blender add-on called Quad Filler. This is actually a lightweight tool that can instantly fill the missing quad faces in your mesh, which is basically a solution to patch a hole with a perfect quad. And the add-on does exactly what its name suggests. It fills a quad-shaped gap for you automatically, saving you the trouble of manually fixing that. And using the add-on couldn't be simpler. You go into the edit mode, switch to edge selection, and select the edges where you found a hole. One side should have three connected edges and the opposite side one edge. Then you hit the shortcut key. The gap is instantly filled with a new quad face, which means there is no need to bridge multiple edges or fiddle with extra steps. Just select, press, and watch a clean quad appear where there was an empty space before. It is actually a small operation, but in action, it feels almost magical. I mean, how it resolves the fill with one keystroke. As you can imagine, this add-on can save you a lot of time. I mean, if you've ever done polymodeling or retopology, you know the drill. Filling holes or patching uneven loops can break the workflow, often needing multiple steps like bridging, margin vertices, and cleanup. But with this add-on, on the other hand, this common task of filling holes kind of stop being a problem. The benefit is especially clear if you're trying to maintain an all quad mesh. I mean, no triangles or no angles. The add-on ensures that the new face is perfectly clean with quads every time. In fact, some early users had mentioned that this function found in this add-on is kind of similar to some quick fill features found in my Anmodo, and they were excited to be found here in Blender 2 through this add-on. As you can see, little add-ons like this can really improve the modeling experience in Blender. Now, since Quad Filler is in beta, there are some limitations to keep in mind. At the moment, it only handles a specific case of a 3 edge side to 1 edge side fill. So if you have a hole where one side of the gap is made of 3 connected edges and the opposite side is a single edge, it will work great. Other situations, like different numbers of edges on each side, I mean each side of the hole, or irregular shaped gaps aren't supported yet. The developer has stated they are actively working on supporting more fill patterns. For example, scenarios like 4 to 2 and 5 to 3 edges might be coming in the future. I mean future updates. It is worth noting that really complex or messy topology might still trip it, especially in this early version. So you might want to use it on relatively clean intended quad gaps. On the upside, the tool is very new and under active development, so you can expect it to be versatile over time. And being in beta also means it is currently available at a discount. I mean an early access price, and anyone who buys it now will get it at a cheap price and will receive future updates as soon as they drop. In my experience so far, the add-on ran smoothly, especially for what it is designed to do. I didn't encounter any crashes or weird results, as long as I stuck to the supported use cases. And I would say this add-on is really appealing for most Blender modelers who spend a lot of time doing with topology, cleanup, or precision modeling. This includes hard surface modelers who often need to bridge panels or fill small gaps, or character artists doing with topology on high res sculpts, or generally speaking, anyone doing modeling. So, if you fall under one of these categories, I think Quad Filler is right up your alley because this add on is really simple and it does its job effectively. Also, it is fun to use because it works like magic. And I'm looking forward to seeing the growth and new capabilities of this add on especially as it gets out of beta. And if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.